30 year old TK Burton was last seen on July 29th at a Sitco gas station in Winston Salem. Now, all this time later, his loved ones are fearing the worst. That's because yesterday, Winston Salem detectives and Randolph County deputies searched a property off of Rob Cruthers Road off Muddy Creek Road in Archdale and they found human remains. Sheriff's Office sent those remains to the state medical examiner's office for identification, and Burton's family is waiting to learn if it's him. Fox's Cassie Fambro joins us live here in the studio now, and Cassie, you talked to a close friend. Yeah, Michael, TK Burton's wife, Jacqueline, understandably extremely upset. So a close friend of the couple spoke with me today, Emily Rutherford. She told me the past 50 days have been extremely painful waiting on any word for what happened to TK. I've known TK for like 10 years, so I've been a part of their little love story for many years. Watching them grow up together, it's been a blessing. TK Burton and his wife Jacqueline's love story goes back to high school. This photo shows the pair in 2010, him wearing his Bobcats jersey. They welcomed their first child last year together. This photo shows their announcement last spring. It's very gut-wrenching for everybody, not even just like his wife, his son, his mother, brother, sister. Everyone collectively shocked after learning Winston-Salem police along with Randolph County Sheriff's deputies gathered at a property in Archdale Monday afternoon, searching the property of Bo Benjamin Martin. Authorities put up a blue tent and hours later, the sheriff's office confirmed human remains were discovered there. Martin, who is 31 years old, was charged with felony failing to report a death. Close friends say authorities called the family asking to see photos of Burton's tattoos. The human remains were sent to the state medical examiner's office to be identified. He was just a ball of light. You walk in the room and you see his infectious smile. He was a great person inside and out. Rutherford says she doesn't believe Burton would have ever left his family willingly, and they all desperately want answers. We just want closure and answers. Like, if it is something out there, we want to know what happened. If you want to help that family as they go through this difficult time, we have a link on our website under the article about this story. The Randolph County Sheriff's Office says the investigation is still ongoing, and again, no one has officially confirmed who those remains belong to, Michael. All right, Cassie.